Good day everyone, this is Teacher Cherry. In this video, we will learn about quadrilaterals that are parallelograms. We will determine the conditions that make a quadrilateral a parallelogram and use properties to find measures of angles, sides, and other quantities involving parallelograms. Let us have a recall about quadrilateral. Quadrilateral is composed of two parts. The first one is quad, which means four, and lateral, which means side. So, quadrilateral just means four sides. It is a polygon of four sides. Since quadrilateral has four sides, quadrilaterals have four vertices. Yung mga vertices, ito ay ginagamit para pangalanan ang quadrilateral. For example, we have here a quadrilateral. Paano natin papangalanan ang quadrilateral na ito? Take note that the order of naming the vertices is important. This is quadrilateral M-A-T-H. We have M-A-T-H, clockwise. Another name is quadrilateral A-T-H-M or quadrilateral T-H-M-A. We also have quadrilateral H. M A T Another name is quadrilateral M H T A or quadrilateral H T A M or quadrilateral T A M H or quadrilateral A M H T so, pwedeng counterclockwise or clockwise natin papangalanan ang ating quadrilateral. Hindi natin pwedeng pangalanan na MTHA or AHTM. Dapat kapag magpapangalan, ito ay magkakasunod ang kanilang mga vertices. Let us have kinds of quadrilaterals. The first one is parallelogram. Here is the figure. Parallelogram is a quadrilateral where both pairs of opposite sides are parallel. Next kind is rectangle. This is a parallelogram with four right angles. Rhombus. This is a parallelogram with four congruent sides. A square. This is a parallelogram with four right angles and four congruent sides. Another kind of quadrilateral is trapezoid. It has exactly one pair of opposite sides parallel. And last is the kite. It is a quadrilateral with two pairs of adjacent congruent sides. Balik tayo doon sa ating given quadrilateral. Meron tayong mga term na ginagamit sa quadrilateral. The first one is consecutive or adjacent sides. Pag sinabing consecutive or adjacent side, ito yung dalawang sides na merong common vertex. For example, we have line segment HM and line segment MA. So, magkasunod silang dalawa or adjacent sides. Ang common vertex nila ay itong M. Another example of consecutive or adjacent sides, line segment MA and AT. They are consecutive sides. Another example is line segment AT and line segment HT. Or, we have also, another example is 
line segment TH and line segment HM. We have also opposite sides. Kapag naman sinabing opposite sides, ito yung dalawang sides na walang common vertex. Yung hindi magkatabing sides. For example, we have line segment MA at saka si line segment HT. They have no common vertex. Another example ng opposite sides ay line segment MH at saka line segment AT. We have opposite angles. Kapag sinabing opposite angles, ito yung dalawang angles na walang common side. We have angle M at saka angle T. So, yung katapat niyang angle, sila yung opposite sides. We have also angle A at saka angle H. They are opposite angles. Meron din tayong tinatawag na diagonals. Ang diagonals ay line segments that are formed when opposite vertices of the quadrilateral are connected. We have here opposite vertices M at saka si T. Kapag pinag-connect natin ang M at T, yun ay tinatawag nating diagonal. Another diagonal is we have line segment AH. A and H are opposite vertices. Let us now proceed to parallelogram. A parallelogram is a quadrilateral with two pairs of opposite sides that are parallel. Okay, so this is our figure. This is parallelogram A, B, C, D. Alin dyan ang mga opposite sides na parallel? Opposite sides na parallel ay line segment A, B at saka C, line segment C, D. We have also line segment AD at saka line segment BC. Let us have the quadrilaterals that are parallelogram. We have rectangle. Ito yung ating symbol na ginagamit for rectangle. Maliit na rectangle. It is a parallelogram with four 90 degree angles. Lahat ng angles niya ay right angle. Next is rhombus. Rhombus is a parallelogram with four equal sides. Okay. So, ang mga sides ng rhombus ay magkakaparehas ang sukat. Another is the square. Okay. So, ito naman yung symbol for square. Square is a parallelogram with four 90 degree angles and four equal sides. Ang square ay merong parehas na properties ng rectangle at rhombus. Ang square ay merong apat na 90 degree angles at meron din siyang apat na equal sides. Dumako naman tayo sa properties of parallelogram. The first property is in a parallelogram, any two opposite sides are congruent. We have here parallelogram A, B, C, D. Base sa ating figure, ang opposite sides natin ay line segment A, D at saka line segment B, C. Kung mapapansin nyo, meron silang tig-isang marking. Ang ibig sabihin nun, they are congruent. Kung isusulat natin into symbol, that is line segment AD is congruent to line segment BC. Another opposite sides na congruent ay ang line segment AB at saka line segment DC. So, meron silang dalawang markings. In symbol, we have line segment AB is congruent to line segment DC. Therefore, our ABCD is a parallelogram. 
The next property is in a parallelogram, any two opposite angles are congruent. We have parallelogram ABCD. Ang opposite angles natin ay angle A and angle C. Another opposite angle is angle B at angle D. Kung mapapansin ninyo, ang angle A ay may dalawang markings, ang angle C ay mayroong dalawang markings. They are opposite angles. In symbol, angle A is congruent to angle C. Since angle B and angle D are opposite angles, they are congruent. Kung ano ang measure ng angle A, yun din ang measure ng angle C. Kung ano ang measure ng angle B, yun din ang measure ng angle D. Therefore, ABCD is a parallelogram. The third property is in a parallelogram, any two consecutive angles are supplementary. We have parallelogram ABCD. Kapag sinabi nating supplementary, ang sum ng dalawang Angles ay 180 degrees. Since consecutive angles, magkasunod ang mga angle. We have angle A and angle B. They are consecutive angles. Pag kinuha natin ang sum ng kanilang mga measurement, ang kanilang sum ay 180 degrees. Another consecutive angles ay angle B at angle C. Ang kanilang sum ay 180 degrees. Then, angle C and angle D are consecutive angles. The sum is 180 degrees. And last, angle D and angle A, ang kanilang sum ay 180 degrees. Dahil, they are consecutive angles. Next property The diagonals of a parallelogram bisect each other. We have here parallelogram ABCD. Ang diagonals natin ay line segment AC at saka line segment BD. Nag-intersect sila sa point M. We have the diagonal BD. Si line segment BD, hinati niya yung line segment AC. Therefore, yung line segment AM, ang measurement ng line segment AM ay equal sa measurement ng line segment CM. Si diagonal AC naman, binaisek niya si line segment BD. Therefore, ang line segment BM ay congruent sa line segment DM. Kung ano ang measurement ng line segment DM, yun din ang measurement ng line segment BM. Therefore, ABCD is a parallelogram. We have another property. A diagonal of a parallelogram forms two congruent triangles. We have here parallelogram AXIS. Ang ating diagonal ay line segment AI. Meron tayong dalawang congruent triangles. Ang ating congruent triangles ay triangle AXI at saka triangle ISA. Let us now proceed to the conditions that guarantee that a quadrilateral is a parallelogram. The first condition, a quadrilateral is a parallelogram if two pairs of opposite sides are congruent. For example, we have parallelogram ABCD. Ang line segment AB at line segment DC ay opposite sides. Kung ano ang measurement ng line segment AB, which is 6, ganun din yung line segment DC. Another opposite sides ay line segment AD and line segment BC. So, they are 
congruent. Ang measurement nila ay 7. Next condition is a quadrilateral is a parallelogram if two pairs of opposite angles are congruent. We have parallelogram ABCD. Ang opposite angles natin ay angle A and angle C. They are both 115 degrees. Kung ano ang measurement ng angle A, yun din yung angle C. Another opposite angles are angle B and angle D. They are both 65 degrees. Next condition, a quadrilateral is a parallelogram if pairs of consecutive angles are supplementary. We have angle A and angle B. They are consecutive angles. Pag pinag-add natin yung measurement ng kanilang angles, 115 plus 65, that is equal to 180 degrees. Ang angle B at angle C, pag pinag-add din natin, ang sum ay 180 degrees. Ang angle C at angle D, pag pinag-add natin, 180 degrees. Next condition is a quadrilateral is a parallelogram if the diagonals bisect each other. We have parallelogram ABCD. Ang line segment AM ay congruent sa line segment CM. Ang line segment BM ay congruent sa line segment DM. For the last condition, a quadrilateral is a parallelogram if each diagonal divides a parallelogram into two congruent triangles. We have triangle HOME. Alin kaya dyan yung triangle na congruent? We have triangle HEO at saka triangle MOE. Okay, so ingat din sa pagninim ng triangle. Okay, that's the end of our tutorial. Before I end this video, I would like to say a simple quotation. Do the right thing even no one is watching. Thank you so much. Keep safe and have a great day.